Hi my friends. Today we study an assembly. I was curious to see uh, if this assembly works because uh, I saw here some mistakes. You see this is diameter of 16 and diameter of 22 not diameter dimension this is not possible there is another drawing this one with uh, another missing dimension what is the distance between these two you don't see anywhere uh, this dimension as I said I was curious if this mechanism works this one the body was uh, modeled by us in a previous tutorial I modeled uh, these other parts and I placed this uh, body in an assembly this is the assembly you see these are the parts we'll try to create this assembly together and to see if it is uh, working well this part is taken from uh, Timoteo Carasotto drawings and you can uh, download it by watching the tutorial number 182 I was uh, asked by one of you my friends to model also assemblies not only parts and I do this in this tutorial we start with uh, a new template standard millimeters IPT and we place you see the shortcut is P so I use P to select the first part the first part is this one and I place it in a grounded position in origin origin of uh, the assembly each part has an origin you see and this is the origin of the part what means grounded it means that this uh, work uh, entities to be over this all entities in fact this one placed on this good the next object is uh, obtained with place or by using the key space I use it and I repeat the previous command which was place place component I place uh, uh, then alphabetically the balls one two the bushing fork I place it here the two the connecting rod this one and the two lever levers one two they are placed in space as you already know then we create the assembly to do this we use constraints constraints are this this is a mate this is angle tangent insert and symmetry we start with uh, placing uh, this bushing 
and this hole. This is mobile and this is fixed. But we don't use the mate. We use the insert. Insert means that I select a circle and an axis. Both entities and I show where to be placed the part by using the mated uh, entities here you see we now we have placed the bushing in the body but we can rotate this we don't want this we want to be parallel with this uh, uh, feature of the other part how can we do this we use another constraint which is angle and we select this face and we select from origin the plane which is suitable to do this it means the plane xy but i didn't select a good solution i select direct angle and you see here zero degrees okay now i cannot rotate this uh, object then we use the constraint mate to place this uh, rod connecting rod this uh, axis to be placed on this axis what happens here you can move up and down and you can also rotate this part we accept to have this uh, degree of freedom uh, not uh, uh, constraint but we want to place this not so not so but parallel also with this good we apply angle first solution this face with this face now it appears this zero angle okay we can move up and down but we cannot rotate it good then we want to place this uh, levers in their positions. I start with this one. You will see why. Constrain. Insert. This face. With this circle. On this face. With this circle. Okay. Now we can rotate. This. About this axis. For the other lever, we use the same insert, but we rotate this in order to place it here. Okay, again we can rotate this without problems. I place now the balls also with the insert. You can see that we have uh, circles, two circles here in, inside, outside to select for placing it here. Apply. The other one is this one to be placed here. Okay. The only degree 
of freedom is to rotate the ball around uh, this axis but we cannot we don't want to do this because it is uh, uniform uh, spherical without channels or other asperities you have to notice that we didn't place here an axle or a shaft because the system accepts this uh, only constraints like uh, insert without uh, problems because this is a kinematic use not with forces or other tasks you can see that uh, this uh, connecting rod can be moved up and down without any obstacle to control this movement we have to hide this part which is the bushing fork visibility now we can place down this uh, connecting rod and we see something very very amazing uh, not uh, okay why because i want to place the constraint tangent between this cylinder and this face apply and also between this cylinder and this face okay and we see that uh, there is an, a big interference here if we move this everything is uh, accepted but not this interference not between the two not between there them and this what to do we go back with uh, placing and uh, visibility this object we take a look to the original drawing and we see here a dimension 34 this must be changed or this is okay and I made a mistake or this is wrong let's see double click on this uh, bushing and we work on this sketch this sketch contains the definition of the bushing and you see here that 34 is here we have to modify this I propose 42 now this point is not here but in other position when I apply finish sketch everything is changed you see this was enlarged but the constraint remains and uh, now the constraint applies the concentricity here once again I make this not visible and we take a look oh now it is better you see we can uh, try to see if here is uh, any interference to do this we go to view not to view to inspect analyze interference define set number one set number one is this and this two objects define set two set two is only this one okay 
there were no interference detected. 42 dimension between these two is okay. Good. Now I want you to see that uh, when they the upper surfaces are aligned if I go back and place the bushing in uh, visibility we have uh, this position with this uh, you see here a gap if I rotate maximum uh, position vertical to vertical move is uh, when this is horizontal we can see inside by using uh, a trick double click on this or any other and apply view with half section view by using the plane XY you see now we can see inside okay if I apply return we see that everything was presented in a section good this means that I can rotate this uh, lever and I see when what is the maximum position this is if you take a look again to the uh, to the assembly you see here a spring yes this spring maintain maintains uh, this rod up yes and up is when this is horizontal not uh, sloped this is my opinion we can uh, interpret everything here good We can place here a contact or better we rotate this uh, this uh, lever and we place a constraint for rotation of this we make the assembly with constraint at an angle between this and this to be controlled it is zero okay now i cannot rotate this but i have a possibility here because this constraint as well as all other constraints is placed here at the pushing fork and also to the left lever I can select here other half because now we have pushing a half of this constraint the other half is at the level one you see this constraint and this constraint are half of a, a full constraint okay i want to apply drive to this uh, angle to apply rotation of 10 degrees 10 degrees is by default let's see oh this is not 
our direction so I place minus here then I rotate and I have what I want to have you see what is the maximum position here let's see 15 minus 15 you can uh, select any position you want now <laughs> I make something uh, for the last uh, day of the year and you will see what I do I go back to view I eliminate section view I take a great image and I apply that uh, drive by using angles and I make this to be repeated start and start happy new year 2024 for all of you and see you the next year that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye